Hello people, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. This is Sorin and uh, I got good news for 2024. Wargaming, actually not Wargaming, the Armor Patrol released an uh, article where they mentioned that the low tiers are gonna get nerfed and buffed. Well, only the vehicle that is getting nerfed is the one and only, the Hetzer. Why is that? Because uh, obviously the vehicle has 2800 dpm. Uh, with my setup looks like it cannot use a rammer or I'm not using a rammer yes it's because it cannot use a rammer for any kind of reason and this was my favorite is my favorite vehicle because I use I used to play it in tournaments to kill myself god I actually used to because I don't play tournaments anymore but other than other than that um, it's time to play the headser the last time uh, maybe here and there just to you know to see if we can still play it but Jumping on to the article, we have over here all the tanks that are gonna get um, rebalanced. Changes to low tier tech 3 vehicles. That is uh, considering the BT2, the BT5, the Panzer E, the Lux, the Panzer J, the Jack, the Jack uh, Panzer Hetzer, the M5 Stewart, the Valentine, the Valentine AT. The Bishop is getting what? Why is the Bishop getting buffed? That's an artillery piece. The Type uh, 2597 Kiha and the Type 97 Kiha. I'm not really sure what that is, but I think that's a tier 3 and a tier 4, probably. But jumping on at the tier 2 with the BT2, the only changes by the looks of it are to the chassis. And I think this is the. the it's not a turret, it's the tracks. So the, the stock tracks are gonna get its dispersion from. 0.20 to 0 0.22 so it's gonna get nerfed but on the top tracks i believe it's from 0 0.25 to 0 0.20 so um say so a bit a bit of a buff over here by considering 20 percent that's interesting it's gonna get much better uh, dispersion while moving next the bt is the bt5 the tier 3 uh but it looks like it's gonna get much cheaper to repair it so you're gonna make on average 460 credits more um, more credits per game if you play your bt5 so that's a bit of an investment over there the loading capacity went up by 80 kilograms for whatever reason and on top of that the dispersions on the tracks were uh, lower from 0 0.28 to 0 0.22 which is a big buff and on top of that from um, on the stock tracks under the big track on the top tracks from 0 to 0 to 6 on um, on the to 0 to 0 which is decent i mean i don't play i don't really care because i don't play tier 3 tier 2 tier 5 tier 4 i don't really play them anymore uh, but yeah the 37 millimeter automatic is this the same automatic cannon as the mt had in uh, mt25 had it back in the in the days probably no because that used to be 47 millimeter or I don't know but back to that topic the reload time got uh, nerfed from uh, 5 seconds all the way to 6.7 seconds Ooh, that's a big uh, nerf towards the um, dpm but instead of having five shells you're gonna have six shells so pretty much i don't think you're gonna do 200 damage anymore you're gonna do 240 if the 40 if 40 is the average damage per shot with this auto cannon but probably no other than that, aiming time is getting a really um, a good uh, e e low, it's getting better from 2.6 seconds to 2 seconds, that's a really big uh, buff over here. Uh, holy moly, it's firing a lot of shells, I mean it's 47 stock, and now it's gonna go down to only 43 rounds a minute. Uh, interesting, which means the, um, the DPM is gonna go down, yeah. From 1900 to 1700 uh in actually watch this 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 is the accuracy the accuracy is going to go down from 0 0.44 to 0 0.40 which is going to be a bit more accurate to hit your uh, little 37 millimeter rounds more uh, accurately and on top of that because the intraclip reload is so quick on this vehicle i think it's like 0 0.5 seconds or what is this or whatever the intraclip reload is uh the spread after fire it was the same as 152 millimeter so they changed it down to 1.5 so uh, whenever you fire the tank is not going to bloom as much so you can actually burst at uh, medium distances with this auto cannon other than that the average um, went average dpm went down but uh, considering is the tier 3 have really nice dpm it has some better dpm than the, the rhinoceron tier 10 
on the Teret as well, on the big Teret as well. It got, uh, actually it has more DPM on the um, top turret, so pretty much everything changed. Uh, everything that I mentioned here, it was on the stock turret, and over here it's um, the normal turret. So usually you have 0.38 dispersion, you have more rounds a minute, much better aiming time, and uh, you are gonna reload faster and your DPM is gonna be 1800, so it's gonna be decent. Next, the 45mm gun. Bro, why? How many guns does this thing have? Uh, aiming time went down, the accuracy went down, the um, after fire bloom went down, the armor penetration went up, the oh the the penetration 500 meters went up. Uh, the same goes to the APCRs 102 at tier three. That's very very interesting, and whatever that is at the hand at 500 meters. Okay. Um, yeah, this thing is gonna get better ammunition as well, more horsepower per ton, and more horsepower per ton again. 39 horsepower per ton, that's a lot. Communication range also decreased from 615 to 360, I'm not really sure what, what, uh, what are those nerfs and buffs, but I mean it's tier 3 after all, we they have to rework it as like where they are spending so much time on a tier 3 when they can do we can do um, rebalancing for tier 5 and ups 6 7 8 9 10 where they have to spend so much time over here with the tier 3s probably there because they are unpopular and that's why so or probably, it's probably because the new players are not enjoying them probably that's why but yeah uh, the durability of the radio from 200 to 140 which was before 150 to 100 okay okay actually no it was from 200 to 140 and when it's uh, broken so it was 150 and down to 100 radio weight decreased what the hell are those changes like i'm really sorry but what is going on but moving on to the germany this is a tier 3 light tank um camo went up module actually the tanks is getting more expensive to repair suspension cap capacity went down went up quite a little so you don't need to use all of the top tracks your hardening or whatever you use on this vehicle uh, accuracy went down um, after fire reticle bloom went down uh, ammunition well, the penetrations were so low at like 40 millimeters, you cannot even penetrate some tier 2s with this but uh, luckily they went up from 40 to 52 the same goes with the... actually no, they didn't change anything average damage per minute went from 980 to 1224 well, that's the DPM that I'm talking about, the DPM of a specific tier 3, not 1800 like the BT is having on top of that, there is um, the second shell, the premium shell, penetration increased from 74 to 80, and the same changes to the range. Uh, the damage run from 36 to 45. Well, this explains why the DPM went up, and from HE from 42 to 60. So, yeah, probably you're gonna do more damage with the uh, HE. So, there's a big DPM increase from 1143 to 1633. Damn. I think this is HDPM by the way. Uh, they also deleted gun, so I think that's the auto cannon that you get in the Panzer to whatever the tier 2 Panzer is. Uh, the one, the 2 cm that was quite deadly at the tier, uh, the tier 2. The turret is getting also some love, the top turret, the, all the love that I mentioned earlier, but much better, like from 0 0.41 to 0 0.40, so yeah, some slight tweaks here and there so i'm gonna mention that because it's already like wasting so much time on those tier trees but have to be specific once again they removed the, um, the guns i look i mean they removed a lot of guns like by the looks of it too uh, on top of that they reduced the specific power to weight ratio over the on the vehicle probably because it's moving too fast but 
it is what it is and also they re they deleted a radio next the lux here is actually a popular vehicle the lux is the cutest out of all uh what they did on the 3.5 centimeter actually 3.7 centimeter they increased the um, penetration and it is the same path as i mentioned earlier above with this because it's the same gun uh excepting the dpm buff and yeah i mean actually it's copy paste so i don't have to mention about anything the gun as well the five centimeter had pretty much the same um, actually no that's the turret sorry the top turret also had the same uh, buff so by the looks of it it's only only the two and only the 2 cm and the 5 cm are getting buffed or whatever is going on over here because already I'm already lost but the Panzer 3J this is a tier 4 medium uh, what they did they increased the load capacity by 600 the gun one of the gun is getting removed the one I, which is mentioned early, earlier um, the 2 cm auto cannon is removed on top of that, the same goes with the turret. They remove those uh, two guns. Next, on the Jack Panzer heads are properties. This is the most important of all of those. Uh, what they did? Well, on a derp, on the 105 centimeter, actually 105 millimeter, the gun reload went from 8.25 to 9.4. This is a big DPM nerf. Uh, all the way from 2550 base to 2235 which is still manageable i mean the headset is very deadly vehicle because it can turn really quick has good uh, armor and obviously with the derp it's uh, quite dangerous on top of that they uh, nerfed the aiming time because the aiming time was really good on this vehicle despite it's having a big horrible bloom other than that they didn't touch anything i really like that so next is the m five steward this is um, a light tank from united states with um yeah a lot of love so again the trucks they got buffed from 0 0.0.25 0 .25 to 0 0.18 um the top trucks as well from 0 0.21 to 0 0.16 interesting gun reload inside the magazine went from 0. Point, that's the intra clip reload from 0. 0.67 to 0. 0.5 um what's that reloading inside the queue from 0. 0.67 to 0 numbers of shell in the queue i'm not sure i'm not really sure what that's supposed to mean but i think now you um I never played with this. I actually think I played with it. I think it used to have one. Um, once you click the button, it's gonna eject all five shells. So now you can actually eject them as many as you want. Like if you need to fire two shells, you only fire two. Before, you, if you wanted to fire two shells, you had to fire all five of them. But uh, I think this is what this is. This thing is meaning. Next, the gun. Uh, the rate of fire went up by the looks of it two rounds a minute the accuracy went down a bit the um, bloom after fire went down the penetration went up the penetration of meters went up obviously because those things are correlated uh, the dpn went up by pretty much 90 penetration on your penet on uh, premium shells went up and on top of that the the, the top turret also got uh, accuracy buff and all the things that I mentioned earlier, which is interesting. Next, the Valentine. This is a tier three British light tank, which um, which is losing a bit of its armor because uh, at least it's to the side, the rear of the vehicle is still having 60 meter as much as you have on the front. Next, the suspension is getting um, a big buff towards its loading capacity. Engine power went up from 7 to 7.9. Oh, didn't, didn't even expect that this vehicle to be uh, this low, but you know, you live to learn. And uh, the top engine went up from zero from uh, 7.44 to 8.3 horsepower per ton, which is manageable. And they also deleted a radio. The Valentine 
80. This is a tier of 4 tank, it served from Great Britain. Also had some specific power to a ratio increase from 9. Point, actually from 8.85 to 9.8. So it can go into position quicker. On top of that, with the top engine, it goes up to 10.34. And um, boy. The Bishop probably because they have the same engine, yeah, they do have the same engine. They uh, actually buffed the Bishop, I was not expecting that. Uh, but yeah, they are buffing an SPG. Hmm. But yeah, uh, power to weight ratio went up from 7.3 to 8.22. And with the top engine as well, to the way up to 8.69. Next, going on to China, the, I'm not really sure which what tank it is, but it's a tier 3 light tank, it's good to know. It's getting cheaper to repair, the aiming time is getting buffed, the um, accuracy is getting buffed, the aiming time on the gun, on the on the second turret, on the big, on the big turret, I mean the top turret. The engine is getting buffed by, I don't know, I don't know, like maybe 5 horsepower or 10 horsepower because getting a buff of 0 0.15 horsepower yeah that's not gonna be like the biggest buff so uh, yeah they also remove the radio they keep removing the radios why is that i don't really know but but yeah and the type oh the... wait that's chinese and this is japanese oh now makes sense but the japanese uh, light tank is getting itself a slight buff toward its aiming time and uh, the aiming time on uh, the top turret as well so only aiming time buff towards that but i'm really wondering why they don't have a picture for those tanks so um, probably they are not in game or whatever that is but actually no they are in the game but i don't know what's going on but yeah we managed to finish the video and uh, a lot of unnecessary buffs, actually there were some necessary buffs and unnecess like necessary nerf like towards the headset because it was breaking the matchmaking but I don't really see the point of changing so many slots of uh, vehicles that barely someone play I mean if you go to Tomato GG and see how many people are playing the tier 3 um actually let's actually see tier three how many battles are at the most um actually there are 33 30 30 000 battles in the panzer 3 in the Stuart 17 15 the valentine so i mean like their win rate is not even it's not even actually yeah now it makes sense why they are they are um uh, they're getting buffed uh, what about the tier 4 Hetzer? Is it any good? That's gonna be an interesting question. The rest the looks is having a 54% win rate and it's getting, well it's not literally getting the tank itself above, it's only getting the gun. And the Hetzer is just over there with 52. But are they top of the line? Yeah, they, they are pretty much. Hmm. Interesting, what about the Bishop? And uh, this is a clicker. I mean, yeah, the bishop is doing very nice well, with 51% win rate. Uh, I mean, actually, 48%, 49% players are playing the bishop and they're having um, better win rate, which is uh, yeah, which is always nice to um, to see clickers on the battlefield. But I'm so happy that I quit tier six to tier seven uh, to tier eight. I actually, in tier eight match, you don't even see the FE. 304 anymore which is good but yeah other than that let's finish the video here thank you much for watching guys and i'll see you legends around